Guys, I'm so happy to be playing Dead Island 2 with you. The zombies are really scary, so I uh, apologize for any screaming. Sleepy Joe, the zombies are not even scary. Don't be a coward. I am the president of America. I can be a coward if I want to. It is my God-given right. I just hope that God will give me strength to deal with both of you today. If you spell God backwards, it spells dog. Woof, woof. I gotta say, I like the game, but I have noticed there are a lot of quests which require you to open gates. That is quite irritating. Donald, if the quest required you to build walls, I reckon you would love it, hehe. <laughs> Get it? Because you like walls. Joe, explaining your joke kind of kills the point of a joke. Guys, I am lost. I was busy looking at a statue, and now I don't know where to go. Joe, in the container. Oh, wait. I found you. Wolverine Claws, oh yes! It is Joe Vereen time. I'm going to scratch all the zombies. You look dumb, ha ha ha. There is no friendly fire, you idiot. Obama, I will save you. Ra! Get away from my best friend, you undead mother duckers. The Wolverine Claws are terrible. I can't wait till I get my hands on a gun. Of course you want a gun. I think we need gun control. Obama, he called my Wolverine Claws terrible. Joe, shut up, I am down. God's sake, it is hard trying to carry both of you and fight zombies at the same time. Carry us? How? You are the only one who has died. So terrible. Come on, get up. No need for the dramatics. Ah, uh, I am down. Help me. Uh... The zombies are gonna eat me. Tell my wife that I always love Mercy from Overwatch. Ugh. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Time for another shift, you lay about. Ah, this is scaring me. They are not real, Sleepy Joe. Tell that to the nightmares I always have after playing scary games. They definitely feel real. I don't know why I'm playing this. I won't be able to sleep without my nightlight on full brightness. You have a nightlight? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Obama, there is a zombie police officer. It is probably best for you to keep away from here. What the fuck, Joe? What? I mean, there is a zombie. And, well, um, sorry for speaking without thinking. You're really dumb, sleepy Joe. Ew, this zombie is missing most of its face and body parts. It is making me feel sick. I am going to faint. Oh, I am not good with blood. Not good with blood? Joe, grow up. Joe, if you can't handle the gore and blood, you can leave. But I reckon you will be okay. Why are you staring at me, Obama? Do you love me? Sounds like a radio. Let's kick her to death. Ha, 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 ha. This is so good. You should never hit a woman unless she is a zombie. I guess you can say that lady was hot. Do you get it? Because she is in the fire. Joe, I told you earlier, stop explaining your jokes. Freestyle poem time. As the sun begins to set and the day draws to a close, three men gather around a screen. Their bond only grows. Joe, Donald, and Barack, an unlikely trio indeed, but together they embark on a journey they all need. The game they play is Dead Island 2, a world of undead, where they must fight for survival or they'll end up dead. Joe wields his weapon with grace, taking down zombies left and right. Donald fights with a fury, determined to win the fight. Barack offers words of wisdom, guiding them through the fray as they work together, fighting off the hordes each day. With every victory, their friendship grows stronger still, united by their love of gaming and their iron will. As the night wears on and the game comes to a close, they part ways with smiles and a bond that only gaming knows. For in this virtual world, they found a friendship true, Joe, Donald, and Barack. Together, they make a great crew. I knew you were going to do a poem. I actually made one, too. In the world of Dead Island 2, Donald Trump reigns supreme. His gaming skills are top-notch, and his zombie kills 
a dream. Joe and Barack try to keep up, but Donald's just too good. His aim is sharp, his reflex is quick in the zombie-infested neighborhood. They may be presidents, wise and fair, but in the game, Donald takes the lead. A master of strategy, he's always prepared, and the others can only concede. So here's to you, Donald, the Dead Island King. May your reign be long and true, for in this virtual world of zombies and gore, no one does it better than you. Donald, that was beautiful. I am so proud of you. I just want to give you a pat on the back for a job well done. Hmm, Sleepy Joe, shut up. Help me! This zombie just came out of the closet and scared me. Joe, that is a little offensive. There is nothing wrong with people coming out of the closet. It is 2023. The world is very diverse now. Let people be whoever they want to be. I, 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 I didn't mean the zombie is gay. I mean, he jumped out of the closet to eat me. Joe, he's just teasing you. Joe, you made the zombie fucking explode on me, you idiot. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Joe, why are you singing? Fuck's sake, so annoying. Can you even call that singing? Guys, I am back. I had to mute my mic because I was just doing some important presidential matters. Your mic was not muted. You were singing, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And you did a terrible job of it. How can you say that? I tried my best, okay? I tried, Donald. You dare say such horrible things to me. I'm going to do something I never thought I would have to resort to. I am going to have a tea party with Xi Jinping, also known as the president of China. You wouldn't fucking dare. Try me, you orange poo-poo head. Guys, stop arguing. I just want to play Dead Island 2 without you guys arguing for one minute. But Obama, he said he was going to have a tea party with China. Joe, get in the vent. Go in front. That way, any jump scare zombies will get you. We have to go in a vent? This is just like Among Us. I am feeling a little You're sussy. Flowing, Major. Donald, you are the imposter. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, man, I am on fire today. Not literally because that would hurt. Ah! Oh, God, Obama, you scared me. Guys, this game has choppy audio in the vent, and I also noticed the audio gets a little choppy inside normal buildings. Mm. Kind of ruins the immersion for me. Immersion schmersion, am I right? Shut up, Joe. This vent is reminding me of a game I used to play when I was a kid. We used to play a game called The Tunnel. It was this old storm drain that ran under our neighborhood. We would crawl through it, pretending we were on some grand adventure. We once found a hobo who said he would give me some candy if I licked his snotty nose to him. I still remember how sweet that candy tasted. And with the advancements in solar technology, we could be seeing a huge shift towards clean energy in the next few years. I don't know, Barack. Fossil fuels are still the most reliable source of energy. A unicorn floaty. That is awesome. So cool. Joe, we were in the middle of an important conversation about energy. Oh, what the heck? I guess it doesn't matter. This game is 10 out of 10. So great. I actually once saw a unicorn in my bedroom. Joe, unicorns don't exist. Well, explain why there was a unicorn in my bedroom. Ha, huh? you can't. I love a good wedding. Like that cake right there. I just want to eat it all up and be a little piggy. I love cake so much. Didn't ask. So what are your actual thoughts on the game? Hmm, good question. So far, it is really fun and enjoyable. Apart from playing with Joe, the game has been great. It is really scary, and the blood makes me a little woozy in the head. Hello? But the unicorn floaty made me really love this game. I hear you. I'm Dr. Reed. Did you hear my message? Where are you? I'm Ryan. The cutscenes are a nice break. It gives me time to finish my fan art that I've been making. Well, you, you sort of have. I'm part of the CDC team in L.A. I was anyway. Are you, uh, be infected? No. I remember when my toenail got infected. It was so gunky. Joe, shut up. I'm trying to watch the cutscene. I got better. You got better? Oh, my God. It's like I'm immune. It's gotta be I'm immune to death. Someone, right? I haven't died yet, so I could oh, be immortal. Right. Joe, sh We've been looking please. For you. Well, someone like you. For our vaccine program. Yeah. Doc. 
I gotta go. I'll be in touch. Hey, wait! I need you! You have to get here! Hello? What the fuck? That is definitely a bridezilla. She is hench. Look at her muscles. That zombie is fucking amazing. She is kind of hot. Not gonna lie. I kind of don't want to kill her. Sleepy Joe, you strange little man. I feel so bad for her. She was finally getting the wedding she has always wanted, but she could never afford it because she had to pay for medical bills and college education for her younger siblings. She had to work tirelessly and got two jobs just to be able to help her family. Then she had to deal with all the drama with Shanika and Christine. But Becky finally managed to save up enough money and got her wedding day, only for a zombie apocalypse to happen. Poor bride. I actually feel like crying. Like, Joe. You just fucking invented a backstory for a zombie. You should stop putting brain power into nonsense and start using your brain to help benefit the country. But Becky needed someone to speak up for her. This country has a problem and I want to help. We need to start helping people like Becky and help them get weddings before a zombie apocalypse. Forgive me, Becky. Let me put you out of your misery. Let Uncle Joe Vereen end your suffering, poor girl. Joe, how the fuck have you made me feel bad for a zombie? You have a gift. So strange. Donald, admit it. You feel bad for her, too. Fine, I was crying for her, too. She deserved a happy day, but died instead. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. How have you made us feel bad for a zombie? It is because we are human and have hearts. Poor Becky, I will always remember this day. Rest in peace, sweet, sweet girl. The bride might be having a terrible day, but guess who isn't? Everyone who has just finished this video, admit it, you love this video because I am in it. Just joking. Or am I? If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It means a great deal to us. Now, I hope you have a great day, and I hope your wedding days don't end up like Becky the Bride's.